Hi kids! As we learned a few basics about probability in previous lesson, now we are ready to learn how we can find the probability in numbers. So let's get started. We can find probability of an outcome or case in a probability experiment with the formula. Number of favorable cases divided by total number of equally likely cases. Let's learn it more with help of a few easy examples. Example, if a coin is tossed, what is probability of occurrence of the head? Our formula is number of favorable cases divided by total number of equal likely cases. Here, the total number of equally likely cases are two, that is, heads or tails. And the favorable case, that is, the case for which we want to find the probability is one, that is, coming up of the head. So, probability of occurrence of the head is one by two. Here, one is the favorable case and two is the total number of cases possible. Now, let's take another example. If a coin is tossed, what is probability of the coming up of the tail? We know the formula is number of favorable cases divided by total number of equally likely cases. Here, the total number of equally likely cases are two, that is, heads or tails. And the favorable case, that is, the case we want, the case for which we are finding the probability is one, that is, coming up of the tail. So, probability of occurrence of the tail is equals one by two. We also learn here that coming up of the head and tail have the same probabilities. Both have probabilities one by two. Now, let's take another example. Example, now if I toss a dice, what is the probability of getting two? We know probability is number of favorable cases divided by total number of equally likely cases. And the number of favorable cases here is one, that is, getting two on the dice. And the total number of cases are six. We know six cases are there at most, possible in a dice, that is, numbers one to six. So, probability is one by six. Let's take another example. Now, if I toss a dice, what is the probability of getting an odd number? We know probability is number of favorable cases divided by total number of equally likely cases. Number of favorable cases here are three. That is, getting an odd number, one, three, or five in a dice, and total number of cases possible are six. As we know, there are six numbers in a dice, numbering from one to six. So, probability of getting an odd number is three by six, or one by two. Now, let's take another example. Now, what is the probability of getting the numbers two or five on the dice? We know the probability is number of favorable cases divided by total number of equally likely cases or the total number of cases possible. Number of favorable cases possible here are two, that is, getting numbers two or five. Total number of cases are six. We know there are six numbers on the dice, numbered from one to six. So the probability 
of getting numbers two or five is two by six or one by three. So we have learned how to find probabilities of various outcomes when we toss a single die or coin. Now let's learn how to find probabilities of something else. We have a bag of balls where we have five red balls and two blue balls. We take out a ball without looking into the bag. So let's find out the probabilities in different cases. Let's find probability of getting a red ball. We know the formula is probability of getting red balls is number of favorable cases divided by total number of equally likely cases. And the number of favorable cases are five. As five red balls are there and total number of equally likely cases are seven. As seven balls are there. So, Probability of getting a red ball is five by seven. Let's take another example. Let's find the probability of getting a blue ball. We know the probability of number of favorable cases divided by total number of equally likely cases and here, the number of favorable cases are two, as number of blue balls are two, and total number of equally likely cases are seven, as seven balls are there. So, probability for getting a blue ball is two by seven. So kids, are you getting how we find our probability of our favorable cases? Now, let's take one more example. We have a bag of balls where we have two black balls, four red balls, and six blue balls. We take out a ball without looking into the bag. So let's find out probabilities in different cases. So let's find out probabilities in different cases. Let's find probability of getting a black ball, where we have two black balls, four red balls, and six blue balls. We know the formula is number of favorable cases divided by total number of equally likely cases. Number of favorable cases equals two, as two black balls are there. And the total number of equally likely cases, or the possibility of outcomes, are 12, as 12 balls are there. So, probability for getting a black ball is two by 12, or one by six. Now let's find probability of getting a red ball. We know the formula is number of favorable cases divided by total number of equally likely cases or the total number of possible outcomes. Number of favorable cases, that is, the cases we want are four as four red balls are there. And total number of equally likely cases, that is, total number of possible cases are 12, as 12 balls are there. So, probability for getting red ball equals 4 by 12, or 1 by 3. Now let's take another example. Let's find probability of getting a white ball. We know the formula is number of favorable cases divided by total number of equally likely cases or the possible number of cases. Number of favorable cases are zero as no white ball is there. 
total number of equally likely cases or the possible number of cases is 12 as 12 balls are there. So probability for getting the white ball is 0 by 12 or 0. So when you get zero probability, it means the event has no probability to occur. Now, let's find probability of getting a ball. That is just any ball. We know the formula is the number of favorable cases divided by total number of equally likely cases, or the possible number of cases. Number of favorable cases is 12, as 12 balls are there, as we are finding the probability of getting any ball. Total number of equally likely cases, or the possible number of cases, is also 12, as 12 balls are there. So, probability of getting any ball is 12 by 12, or 1. And probability of 1 means the event is certain to occur. So kids, probability is a number which ranges from 0 to 1. 0 means no probability, and 1 means event is certain to occur. And probability between 0 and 1 means it has some probability to occur, but not certain to occur. So kids, you now know you have a fair idea about what is probability, what are equally likely cases or possible outcomes, what are favorable cases, and how to find probability. So now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.